So, you know, the Karens, like I said, they are a worldwide entity. Case in point, in this story, you have a young sister that's, you know, singing out in London. And, you know, she's out there, you know, make, making some change singing. That's what she liked to do. And you're going to see a Karen calling the police. Um, on this young sister for singing outside, which you would hear the sister talk about this and say it was perfectly legal to do so. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. can't believe how much support I've received. I didn't expect it. At first I wasn't even going to post the video because I was so embarrassed and I thought maybe it was my fault that my singing could have annoyed her. At the time there were other white male performers performing but she didn't shout at them or call the police on them. And a week earlier she had approached me while I was singing outside a completely closed down shop which was empty and she said that she was the owner and that I had to leave. But while I was packing up, the owner came and said he'd seen what happened and he said that I don't have to leave and I can sing there however long I want. On this occasion, a family member was with me and they followed her and filmed her. But when the police arrived, they had to stop filming to support me because I just felt so uncomfortable. And the police came in front of my whole crowd and told me to leave, even though my performance was allowed it was illegal and because i didn't want to cause a scene i just left but i seem to make people happy and i don't want to cause any upset so i really hate this happened to her especially when she said that other white people were singing and doing different things and it was never an issue but this particular karen came up to her and lied and said she owned a building that she did not own uh, she called the police and they came out as you saw in the video, but it, it, it bothers me, you know, these videos we see with these Karens because you saw her like call the police and then went back into the building that she went to. My thing is, I don't care if somebody's singing outside. I, I guess it's just from what I'm looking at and I'm looking at a pattern, I'm seeing a pattern of misery. Okay. You can't be a happy person always trying to mess with somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they were at your home or, um, doing something to you personally. You just want to go mess up somebody else's day, uh, when you didn't have to do that. And these, these Karens from what I'm seeing is that, like I said, the profile is obviously they don't have a life. Um, a lot of them are racist. Um, they want to get in someone else's business. Uh, they feel deputized to control the movements of black people because if she was just like that, just in general, she would have did that to uh, white people and she did not do that. Okay. So I, I hope this don't get the young sister down. Like I say, you keep performing. Like I say, you never know. Like I say, you may uh, get you a record deal and perform all over the UK or throughout the world. Like I say, don't, don't stop your gift um, that uh, God gave you. I mean, cause the gift of music is a gift and you can use it for good and, and not evil. 
because we definitely need more people to sing some good music and, and not talking about music that's you know drug dealing, killing, and whoredom. We definitely don't need any more of that kind of music. But yeah, this woman just looks so silly. And we've seen that poll so much, them holding the phone, calling the police. My God. See, that's why they, they don't like this uh, climate here in America about challenging the police because they know if they don't have the police, what do they have? But leave me a guy, hold, comment. Let me know what you think about you know, this particular Karen in the UK just harassing this you know young sister for nothing.